I'm seeing quite a few mock drafts having our Spurs taken Ron Holland. The question is, Spurs fans, who is Ron Holland and what does he do? What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Well, let's answer that question I talked about at the beginning. Ron Holland. He'll be 19 when the season starts. He's 6'8 with a 6'11 wingspan from the G League Ignite. And right now, Yahoo Sports has his best draft position at 3 and his worst at 12. So let's just say at the time of this video, projected to go around 7.5, which works well with our 8th round pick if the Spurs decided to draft Ron Holland. So we take a look at a little bit of scouting report. In 15 games of this past season, Holland averaged 18 and a half points, shooting 47% from the field and 24% from three. Oy. With about seven rebounds, three assists, two steals, and one block per game. So he's a defensive presence for sure. As we move right along, his strengths. Strong finisher, particularly effective in transition. That's a good thing. We struggle on our fast breaks. When he's not out there leaning it, it's a disaster. Capable spot-up, not leaning it, finishing it. Capable spot-up shooter with potential off-the-dribble shooting. Above-average athleticism and non-stop motor. Excellent perimeter defender, okay? Projects as a high-level defender capable of guarding positions one through four. So I like this. Defense, defense, defense. Something we can certainly use, right, Spurs fans? I mean, really, they're only really good defenders, probably Wemby, and then constantly plays hard, hustles, and loves defense. So he loves defense. Okay, so far this all sounds good, right? Definitely top 10 pick, top 8 pick, top 4 pick. Weaknesses. Below average true shooting percentage and turnover prone due to decision making and court vision issues. Sometimes overly aggressive defensively, leading to defensive lapses. Needs to get stronger and refine his ball handling, and who doesn't like better ball handling? Requires consistency in all aspects of his game, including shooting mechanics. Uh-oh. Shooting mechanics. Recent thumb injury ooh, injury may impact draft process, but scouts believe it will have little impact on draft placement. Hoping the same thing for Nikola Tovic. All right, so here's what some draft notes that we have on Ron Holland. Karis LeVert has a little better handle and more of a consistent shot, but Holland reminds me of him somewhat when he first came out. Okay, that's not the worst comparison. Holland is a functional NBA wing. He doesn't handle or shoot it great, but is good enough right now. He's a rebounder who's tough. And I think that's all I have from the Yahoo Sports scouting report. So let me get into my two cents, Spurs fans. If the Spurs were to draft him and he was to start, our floor spacing would be unbelievably abysmal with him next to Jeremy Sohan. Jeremy Sillian's three-point shot didn't improve to start last season, but then fell off a cliff the last few months where I believe he finished sub-20%. You might say, wait, TSR, you're forgetting so many. Floor spacing would be terrible with Ron Holland, Jeremy Sohan, and Trey Young. Time out. We got some question marks on Trey Young. He shot much better after the All-Star break. Actually shot 42% on 76 attempts in 27 games after the break. So he really improved his three-point shooting. If he can be about a 40% shooter next season, that is really going to help the team because teams last year were leaving him and so him just wide open. Just... Seriously, there were games where they do his glance at Jeremy or Trey wide open and be like, <laughs> it's kind of weird to see, but it is, what it, it is what it is. In regards to Ron Holland, sounds like he'd be such a huge positive on defense for us. It's something that we need. That being said, if we draft him at four or eight, and I think I'd like him a little more... I definitely like him more at eight. At four, not so much, but at eight, okay, sure. Take a chance on him. I see him coming off the bench. Our second unit defense is bad. Terrible. You guys have talked about this numerous times in the comments. When Victor Wembenyama's on the floor, the Spurs were what, about a top 10 defense in the NBA? When he comes off the floor, we're a bottom five. Apples and oranges night and day. So I, we definitely need a defensive presence in the second unit. I think that's where to go. And then maybe in a year or two, if he gets his shot down and can start making, making, getting his, just make some shots. Take the shot, make the shot. Get his three point consistency up. And look, it's not all about three point shots, but we're trying to build this whole draft and everything the Spurs are doing moving forward are building around Wemby. Let's not forget that. He is the cornerstone. Some folks have asked, why, why do you keep talking about three point shooting so much? Because of what I saw last season, Spurs fans, there were many games where Victor would get the ball and he would get double teamed or triple teamed 
or just when he didn't have the ball. If he was around the paint, his defender would sag off and leave a lot of space for Sohan and Trey. And that's to, to unlock the full potential of Wemby. He needs to get have some room to work one on one because as he starts to grow into his body and gets even more acclimated to the NBA game, he's going to be able to just dominate people left and right one on one. They're going to have to send a help defender. And that's where having some guys that can make three point shots is really going to open up his ability to get that one on one shot, but also get us a lot of points if we have open shots. We need guys to make the shots. I'm starting to ramble now. I'm so excited about the draft. In closing with Ron Holland, I, 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 he's projected as high as three. I even saw a couple, um, shoot, I forgot which website it is. Somebody had him going first overall, said he was the top prospect. And this is the crazy thing. We talk about this all the time, Spurs fans, with this draft. We have so many, every day you check the rankings, it's gonna be different. I still think Alex Hart's going first overall, but it's, 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 like, it's like rolling dice and getting different, you know, roll a 14-sided die, okay? and this is your draft position today. And then roll another one tomorrow. That seems like the lottery this year. That being said, at eight, I like him. I would still prefer Zachary Versace at four. I don't think we would draft two wings in the draft, Versace at four and Holland at eight, but hey, stranger things have happened, haven't they? If they did do that, Versace slides into the starting lineup, Champagne goes to the bench, and he would, would well, I don't know where it's going with this. One take TSR. Um, I, I would like Versace at four, and if Holland drafted, it would come off the bench. What's that mean for Julian Champagne? You don't know. If we just draft Holland a point guard, that means a lot more of Champagne next season. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you're having a wonderful day. If you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if Ron Holland is a player you would like either at 4 8 or just not at all. And subscribe to become part of our awesome Spurs community. We do a lot of update videos, and we like to go live a whole bunch for the regular season and hopefully soon for the playoffs. Thank you all. Hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, go Spurs go. Let me get the game off. Let me get the game off. And then you're ready to rap me.